Dear students, we were discussing Microsoft Word and today we will learn about Design Ribbon. So in Design Ribbon, we will be focusing all of the topics like document formatting, themes, colors, fonts, paragraph spacing, watermarks, page color and page borders. So let's start the practical. So here is the same document on which we were working. So let's have a control Z to undo the things which we have done. So here we have the design ribbon. So in this design ribbon, we have number of options. So for example, in the design ribbon are the themes. So there are number of themes available. So for example, if you select any of the theme, then your document will be working in the same theme. For example, we have selected this one. So you can see that there are different things which have been marked differently according to that particular theme. Then within the theme, we have such kind of different options. Then we have color scheme. So within a theme, you can select a color scheme. Like for example, if I go to little bit kind of this theme and this has such kind of colors. So whenever I'm selecting, you can see that the color is being changed in the document. Then we have different fonts available. So you can select any of the font within that particular document formatting and theme group. So you can see that the headings which are being affected by the document formatting and themes group are being changed based on these fonts which we are selecting from here. Then the next thing is paragraph spacing. So if you have for example, so you can see that the theme has been applied in the next headings as well. So for example, we have this paragraph. So if you are on this paragraph and you want to select the paragraph like it should be tight, compact, open. So it would be a little bit more clear if we go upward. So from here you can see the effect more close. Like you can see the compact is like this, tight, open, relax. So you can see that the paragraph spacing is being settled down. Then you can also add number of effects as well. Then here is another very important option known as watermarks. So if you want to add something on the back side of your document, like you might have seen confidential word or something like that. So you can add using the watermark, like if you say confidential, so you can see that that confidential has been appearing on the back side. So if we go over here, and we select reset to theme and then you can see that your watermark is behind the so you can see do not copy written over here at the back end then you can also change the color of the whole page so for example if i want to change the whole color i will go over here page color and if i say like this like this so the color of the whole document will be changed right so this is the color of the whole document that we have changed from here so on the first page it was not effective on some of the parts because those were under some document template or themes over here then you can also let's put control z to go to the plain document then you can also use the page border option so if you select like this and you say okay i need a box so you can see that your document will now have a box like this so this is all the design a ribbon in microsoft word so let's conclude today's topic we have discussed in detail about the design group in microsoft world and in the next modules, we will be coming back for further options available in Microsoft Word.